Okay, hey guys. I just wanted to do a quick little Jans tutorial for some easy things that have to do with um, more more linear church programming for volunteers, so it's easier for them to run things. Um, I think this will help every campus in general. Uh, use it how you like, but <laughs> shout out to Lynn at North Crestview while I was there. He helped me out. I uh, actually found these couple of things, so that's pretty cool. So this is the Blue Water Campus, and see, it's generally I try to make the system similar, so, you know, it's uh, easy to train different people and then to move around, but... Um, so y'all will have your standard queue list I'm in the playback and you'll have you know whatever cues you have right so uh, this week it's start uh, and this could be called whatever but this is just like your walk in and, and whatnot and then you have a song 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 this week is alive make me brave what a wonderful name and then announcements ending so because at Blue Water we have the simulcast there's no ending song there's no anything else so it's just announcements Sermon blackout done. Uh, it probably the same ish everywhere else, um, but again, that's ish because you know I eat, everyone does their own thing. So the easy things that I wanted to show you uh, are at the beginning of each song. You won't see this when you're in this view, but when you look on the timeline, uh, there's this thing called commands. So say you you've run you're at meet and greet for the start or whatever and then you need to go so the traditional way would be uh, you're get, you're in this view and you're at, at start you're at the end and you're gonna hit the first song well you'd hit this and then you would go back and you hit release or you know you'd clear it or however you want to do it um, what Lynn showed me and I started doing everywhere and start train training people is this thing you see how the uh, start automatically went away well at the beginning of the song there's this command that you can it says release all except so you see it in the timeline you don't see it anywhere else so wh what happens is is you go to the start of a song and do tools insert command release all except and then automatically chooses itself and you hit insert so now I can insert a bunch of them. It doesn't really go away. So you could click close. You go back to timeline, and boom, I've got a ton of these things. So not, you only need one. Now, you can make it to other songs, wherever, other places. Um, so like here, I could select, if I went, went to it, I could select, uh, you know, flash something, or I don't know, jump, jump to somewhere else, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, the point is, is once you do that, then say I run this song, or say I run the next song, it automatically fades this song out. So if I go here, you know, the only thing that's active is you make me brave. So as soon as you go to a new thing, it automatically releases the last thing. That's a super easy thing. And then the other thing, Jim was asking me about this, and I wanted to give an idea of this, is so you have, like, your ending thing which is announcements and um you get then you got a, like an offering prayer and then a video and then offering down and then some sermon or some look for the sermon and then maybe an offering element or walk out and then a walk out well this is my communion queue but i didn't use communion this week because we didn't use it well to make sure that this look always looks the same you have to make sure to set all the values the same so it would, not the same, all the values to be what they're supposed to be. So that would mean colors and intensities need to be set in the queue. And what I mean by that is if I copy this queue, which is typically what we're doing in a song, which is a good thing, what it does is it carries over the look. So nothing has changed. Everything looks the same between these two queues. Now I can add in these lights and make them you know, green or whatever. And now they're different. They look different. But if you go to the timeline, the only difference is is, is the uh, intensity here and the color. And it's only for those fixtures. 
So the only reason why it changes, now if I move this somewhere else, it might not do that. And I say might because, you know, it's beyond the scope to go into what it's going to do. So, but the point is, is it's only setting those intensity, those changes. So if you move it and it doesn't see that the changes are, um, really it applies to stuff that's after it. If, if you don't see, I'm trying to get, there we go. <clears throat> so if you see the two differences, is it you know it's it's working, but the ones that are carried over. So if you go to the queue in the timeline, and I'm repeating myself. Understand that, but uh, I got a little <laughs> off a rabbit trail. Anyways, so you see that the only stuff that's in here is those fixtures. Now I can delete them, and then they go away. Look gone, and if I delete the color values, those go away. So Basically, this this queue looks exactly the same as the one in front of it. So that's partly why, when you're moving stuff around, it doesn't it doesn't work when you're in here. So the the way around that is is once you have something that you want, I'm going to take this, cut it, Control X, and move it to oh, I don't know where the communion would go, right after the sermon. So here, well now it looks exactly the same. And then the offering song has its thing. And the walkout has its thing. So if I go back to communion, cut it, place at the end of walkout, there we go. Oh, wait. Look. Walkout looked different. Why is that? Well, that's part of the whole tracking. So communion looks like this. It has these values, these values, and these values. So if I take communion and place it right click cut if you can't get it in front of paste Q in front of walkout now walkout is gonna hold all of those values from communion because in the timeline they're not there's nothing really set that's different now if I want to make sure that this always goes to whatever there's a few different ways uh, one is like a block now it's gonna set whatever is currently there so you know, that doesn't help us because we've already moved the communion. So undo the block. Uh, let's just let's just make sure they go. I don't know. To nice a nice color. We like good colors, right? For a walkout, we don't want it to be moody. We want it to be happy. Uh, so these fixtures have UV, and uh, we'll just turn those off. Okay, so now it's happier. Whatever. Um, you can't see it, but I can. So these guys have a orange channel. Um, I don't know, something like that. Anyway, so now when we go to it, it's oh wow, okay. And the walkout queue looks like that. I don't really care about these because we don't have them, so I'm just gonna turn them off. Okay, so now now that we've set all of our values, go to communion, cut it place at the end. Oh, communion looks the same. Walkout looks the same. Oh, wait, it doesn't. There's a little thing there. Okay, well, you just got to make sure to remember to, to look between different things. Because if it's not set, and it probably won't be, because when you build these things, you're going, oh, new queue, new queue, new queue. So, I'm, you know, you're dragging things, saying I'm copying whatever my previous look was. But you got to make sure that, that look is set instead of being carried over. So remember, being car carrying over is a good thing because when you're, you're in a song and it looks like whatever it looks like and you roll to the next thing, you want to look the same except for what you're going to change, right? But in announcements, the one time, so, song, so you would choose whichever you, you do more often. You can turn off tracking. You can turn off the internal tracking. That's fine. But you just have to remember what you're doing. So songs is the main thing we program. Well, it's a lot easier to make sure that the five cues or seven or whatever here are uh, always the same. And I just, whatever. Anyway, so communion, bring it back. Walkout now looks the same. So now walkout always looks the same, regardless of where communion is. So you just got to make sure that that looks the same. I hope that explains things. Um, I, I want to do more of these in the future. And I hope that gets y'all going.
some questions answered, make things easier, whatever, what have you. Have a great evening. It's night here, but when you watch this, maybe not. Time travelers. <laughs>